Sugar, plant pathologist at Disney World and the Epcot Center. Andy, good morning. Thank you for having us here. You've got so many amazing experiments going on. This is, I think, truly a new frontier in growing. I think you must be very excited to do yes. all these things. Yes. Now, last time we were here, you showed us the aeroponic system, and that's where the roots are growing in air, but continually missed it. With the nutrients, yes. And you're growing everything here. I see peppers and tomatoes and squash. And we also do lettuce very, very easily. Have you found anything you can't grow with aeroponics? No, not, not at this point. That's amazing. And they produce just as well? Yes. Now I see down here, though, you've got a pond of water, and this is what? Right. Water this hyacinth. is water hyacinth. Yeah. And this is uh, being grown on the waste nutrients from the aeroponics. These, I these see. Excess okay. drips off the tube. So you're getting double use out of the water right. and the nutrients. Right. Uh, what else do you have here growing in water? Well, we've got some lettuce over here in a new type of system yeah. that's different than the aeroponics. What do, you, what do you call that? It's called hydroponics. 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 Okay, let's go look let's at take that. Take a look. So this is it. Huh? That's right. Uh, this is a uh, ruby lettuce uh, variety that's yeah. growing uh, just in these uh, small little brown cups. It's uh, in a little plastic material that we uh, germinate the seeds in and place them on. Uh, in these styrofoam uh, boards, and then we just float them over this nutrient hmm. solution. They're just floating right on the water. That's right. We, so the roots are growing right into the into the water. That's correct. Yeah. And uh, we add all of our nutrient solutions and anything else we'd like to add to uh -huh. this water. Right. And uh, we Does use recirculate or change. It, it can be, yeah. but this particular uh, system just uses the same solution. So sitting here really That's hard. right. Okay. It's about 12 inches of water. Huh. And one key is you have to add oxygen by just bubbling water through this, and that really increases your growth of the right. lettuce. If it didn't have the oxygen, then it'd be slowed down the growth. Yeah, it would be stunted about right. half. Okay. It looks simple enough, Andy. It is. What have you got growing on the top here? Well, to try to maximize our uh, overall square footage here, we uh, grow this Malabar spinach uh -huh. uh, up this trellis right. and just harvest the shoots. And uh, it's very, very tasty. It tastes very similar to spinach. These shoots are coming out all along the whole That's way. That's correct, yeah. Okay. And you can harvest probably uh, two or three times a week. Wow. <laughs> Well, what else can you grow like this? Well, we've grown cucumbers, tomatoes, yeah. uh, several different lettuce varieties, spinach, right. radishes, hmm. uh, and several herbs and spices, too. Right. How about things like peppers and... Peppers we've also peppers, grown, yeah. yes. So, they do uh, very nicely. Really, lettuce. just anything that has a root can grow in That's the water. That's correct. One interesting thing, though, is this Malabar spinach yeah. doesn't do very well. It's the only crop that we have found mm. that doesn't do well in the hydroponics, right. and we don't quite understand why. Is this something that almost anyone could do? Yes. Really? It, it, you can set this up very easily in your yeah. backyard or even in your home with some grow lights hmm. over the plant. Okay. Now, I see you've got a bed over here that's really mature. Yes. Let's go look at that one. Okay. Wow, look at this, Andy. This looks ready for harvest. Yeah, well, it is. Uh, next couple of days, we'll be harvesting yeah. this. And then what happens to it? Well, we send this up to the Good Turn restaurant here at the land. Oh, so it's all eaten. Of course, yeah. <laughs> that's great. I want to peek underneath. Okay. That's what I want to see. Wow, As you look can at those see, there's roots. a large quantity of roots yeah. that are sent down into the uh, nutrient uh -huh. solution, and that's why they do so well. Now let's compare that to that okay, early one we've got we got a little one here. There's about a two-week difference wow. between those In two. In two weeks it went like that? Yes, Boy. this is about a week old after transplant, and this is about yeah, three weeks old. It really now. takes off. These are started now from seed in these little pots right. in the greenhouse. In another greenhouse, yeah. and it takes about two to three weeks for the seed to get ready right. to transplant. And then one week in here, and two weeks later they look this That's size, right, and, and up to the restaurant. That's right. That's great. That is really something. It's so interesting, and this is just one of the systems you have growing That's here correct. at yeah. Epcot Center. You've got to say this, it's very educational, but good tasting too.